Hello, here is the Creality CR10 3D printer. But before I get into it, I like to talk about why I chose this as my first 3D printer. When I was first looking into 3D printers, one of the first ones I thought about buying was the Modern Price Select Mini. Some of the things I liked about it was that it came completely pre-assembled and was very easy to use. But then I thought, what if I wanted to build something bigger? Or maybe I wanted to print something like something with uh, flexible filament, like TPU. So then I decided against the Select Mini and uh, thought about the TiVo Tarantula. That one had a much bigger print volume and it was capable of printing materials such as TPU. But when I saw the videos on how to assemble the thing, that kind of scared me. There's just a lot of things to put together. So then that led me to the Creality CR10. Yes, I know it costs twice as much as the model price Select Mini and about $160 US more than the TiVo Tarantula. But what you get for that is an even larger print volume. You still get the ability to print uh, materials such as TPU, but the best part for me was that it came almost fully assembled. And that is worth about six hours of my time, and not to mention if I screw up or not. Inside the box, there was two sections. As you can see, it was like very well packaged. Uh, this is the top section, and this is the bottom section. This is the control unit and power supply. Inside the parts box, there's a set of useless instructions, a sample roll of, of, of about a quarter kilo of uh, PLA filament. Um, below that, there's a set of side clippers, Allen keys, and some wrenches. Uh, to the left of that, there is a spare parts such as the nozzles, or one nozzle and uh, some screws and uh, to the far left there's a spool holder and below that uh, a US power plug and a uh, Europe power plug uh, and just above the Europe power plug there's uh, the two side T brackets and uh, some screws that secure the unit together and I don't know if you can see it right next to the Europe power plug there is a tip cleaner uh, beside that there's a uh, spatula and a USB cable, a spare Bowden tube, a USB card reader with a Kingston 8GB micro SD card in it. The, uh, the card reader didn't work for me so I tossed that but the uh, SD card itself worked fine. The assembly of the printer it's pretty simple. There's uh, underneath here, there's four screws. There's two there and two there that attach the bottom section to the top half. Also, there's the two T brackets that go on the sides here. So those two screws, you use those two. And there's the other T bracket. There's a couple of electrical connectors that you need to hook up. Uh, we'll start with the Z axis. So there's a stopper switch, they're all labeled. Z is there, a little bit hard to see. And then the motor for Z plugs in there. And then we have the, uh, the Y axis, the stopper and the motor and then for the X axis which is this one you got the stopper and the motor there's also the cable that comes off the extruder itself sorry not the extruder the uh, the head itself and that connects to the back of the unit here, here, and then the heated bed has its own connect uh, connector that runs onto the lower portion right there.
after it's all wired up, uh, you'll want to see to make sure it all works. Turn on the unit. Go to prepare and select auto home. If it all works out right, it should auto home on the front left corner. And then next I'll show you how to uh, install the filament. So first you grab the filament end. You're gonna cut. Get a nice clean end to cut off with. And then you wanna go to control unit, go to prepare. Go select uh, preheat ABS and they'll have a hot end temperature set to 240. After it reaches 240, I'll show you how to install the uh, filament. Okay, it's at 240. Um, I want to go to prepare and disable the steppers. And this way I can move the unit up, up higher to show you. So you want to feed there's a little hole on the side here. And I feed that. I'm gonna zoom in and show you. Squeeze this, and there's another hole that's going to pass through. So you see it come up the other end. I'm going to grab, grab this tube, the golden tube, put it in there. You want to push in, and you'll feel it kind of clip in a little bit. So now. Oops. <clears throat> so now you want to hold this, push in all the way until you feel a little bit of resistance and the PLA would have reached the hot end. So a little bit of resistance there. So. As I push in more filament, you can see it ooze out. And pretty much now you're ready to print. Now I want to show you some data on how loud the machine is. Nice and quiet in here. Here's my talking volume. So then I'll turn on the machine. So we got about 50, 55 dB. And it sounds about, uh, it's about as, just as loud as when it's printing. Here's some of the stuff I made using the CR10. Here's the little bench I you made. Turn out, this is a, turn out really well. I was quite happy about that. This is using the, uh, the sample PLA filament that it came with. Here's a little bootivator. So it's a little bit more messy, but the details are all there. This one, um, there was zero percent infill. And I made a pencil holder as a Pi pencil holder, as you can see. 
Now it's really hard to clean inside these numbers. So I got lazy and just left it. But it turned out pretty perfectly cylindrical. Nice little pie symbol on the inside. And I don't know what that is, but it was really hard to clean off, so I just left it. This one took about uh, 41 hours to make. So that's my review on the Creality CR10. It is a great printer, even for a newbie such as myself. It has great value when compared to printers in its own size category. It is easy to use and really easy to set up. I would definitely recommend this 3D printer. Thanks for watching.